up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Legend Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, so we got this, finally, we got this announcement, announcement that the announcement that everybody's been sort of waiting for. Something that for we, years. For years. And something that we, I, you know me, I've totally been against it because it's like, that's it, it's over. This is just something, this is just putting up something up, putting something up on screen because people have been asking for it like crazy. This is sort of like, I, I akin it to release the Snyder Cut movement. <laughs> Everybody's been wanting it. Let's give them what they want. And this is not, Brian, uh, a bad ask. It's not, it's not, it's not it's like, release the Snyder Cut was something that, you know, I was totally against, like, but now, with this Wolverine thing, Deadpool, uh, Ryan Reynolds the other day came out. Was it yesterday? He came out with a, a, a tweet with with Hugh Jackman. Talk. It was it was it was it was humorous. Right. Yeah, he knows how to do that. That's <laughs> yeah, why, yeah, that's yeah. Why, that's why Ryan Reynolds and the Deadpool wall break. When you ask me about that with Shield, I'm not worried because okay. he's better. Yeah, him. yeah. Brian, I wasn't uh, as excited as most. I was like, okay, finally, perhaps now we can be done with it, was my thought. It'll be cool to see. My concern, obviously, you know, Brian, is goofiness. Deadpool 2 wasn't all that great. Despite what others may say, the de first Deadpool, for me, that's classic. The second one more the same yep um and that is what always worries me with ryan reynolds is it going to be more of the same uh and is hugh jackman is is just gonna have fun most likely he's not gonna look in the shape that he would used to seeing him in right well he's 53 so this movie comes out, he'll be 55. So I guess we'll see, see what he's got left in the, uh, in the diet and, and workout regime. Yeah, he's going to call the doctor. Hey, doc, let's go one hey. more time. <laughs> 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 let's just make sure we can do it this time. That's right. Um, your thoughts, Brian, on, on, this, uh, on this news and your expectations for Deadpool 3? So I like it and here's why I like it because it's actually for the re it relates to what you said. I think Deadpool as a franchise needed a jolt because I think one and two were too similar to kind of stayed at the same level style presentation, even though they try to introduce cable, it just didn't have that elevating effect that I think they wanted it to have and the box office reflected that i do think hugh jackman solves that problem yeah i i, I agree i do i agree i do and i think the fact that this is going to be an r-rated movie wolverine is the right buddy if you're going to do a buddy copish type of story and make it r-rated i do think that elevates the anticipation and the potential now it can go wrong you're right it could be silly it can go wrong, but it at least, it raises the ceiling for what I think is possible for Deadpool 3. And I do think Ryan and Hugh have a natural chemistry that can work on screen. And so for that reason, like I do think I'm excited just because it makes me, it makes me care about what Deadpool 3 could become. Whereas I felt like before, it was kind of just going to be like Ryan Reynolds on steroids. Now I at least feel like there's a balance. There's a little bit hope for a balance there. So I actually am excited. And Sean Levy, he's not like he, he, you wouldn't put him on your top shelf of directors, but his floor is pretty low. Most of his movies are pretty good, pretty entertaining. Um, you usually feel like you got your money's worth. So you put these two guys in the middle of that. I 
think there's hope. And he directed Hugh Jackman in Real Steel. So he actually, they worked well together. So I, I'm, in the, I'm in the camp this at least could. Emphasis could. Could be a huge success. I believe so as well, Brian. And I think so because of this. I think Hugh Jackman perhaps has always been a bit uh, reined in as to what sort of Wolverine the studio wanted to present on film. And now he gets his chance to do whatever the hell he wants with the character. And I think we're going to probably get a closer adaptation to the Wolverine we've seen in the comics, the more savage one. Again, rated R, not to say that. Was the Wolverine rated R? No. The, the Wolverine was not. Only Logan, Logan, only Logan has been rated R. So you bring up a key point, and I agree with it. Logan, great way to go out. But in terms of where they put him in life and his physical appearance, it wasn't vintage Wolverine. So this will probably be his attempt to say goodbye as the classic Wolverine. And that's where I think it might be exciting to see a couple R-rated action scenes where he's involved. Yeah, we're going to get the classic Wolverine. We're going to get the, the suit. suit I think, yeah. Right, don't you think? I, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. And, and there's a perfect opportunity for jokes in there. Uh, oh, they're also going to absolutely savage the X-Men Origins <laughs> film that they were in together. I can't wait till they absolutely chop that apart. I mean, when thinking about it, you know, the again, my concern is always goofiness. It yeah. can't be constant um, humor that goes on and on and on and on and on and without any end. Um, my only concern, I mean, that concern, Brian. My other only concern is I don't know what this movie is going to be about. So I'll, I'm in the the in the dark with that. Um, so I think the excitement now is just uh, Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman together on, on screen um, as Wolverine and Deadpool. That's the main excitement. Sure. Uh, but in terms of, uh, I guess the story doesn't matter at this point. But hopefully we don't get waxed, waxed up. You know what I'm saying? I hope we, something, we get something good. But not so good that we're clamoring for Deadpool 5 with Wolf, you know, I, that's it. That's it. Okay. Hooray. It was great. Fantastic. Do I need to see another one? Perhaps not. I want to see a new Wolverine. I actually think that's a good safeguard against the goofiness because I actually feel like the fact that we know Hugh Jackman is not going to be Wolverine for another 10, 12 years means I can tolerate, like if they want a fourth wall break with him, if they want to have a little more fun in this movie, I can live with it because it's more contained. I can live with it because I understand that he's only existing in this particular universe with this particular film and this particular character. That to me allows them some leeway to push that envelope a little bit more than I would otherwise be comfortable with because they don't then have to make him the Savage Wolverine in these other projects that we know he needs to be. So I actually think it really helps. That's why I, I, I really, I really, in a weird way, think this is the perfect way to bring Deadpool in as the first R-rated, likely the first R-rated movie in, in the MCU. And like, let's be straight about it. I mean, like, it's a business savvy decision, right? Like these two guys, the anticipate putting it out there two years before this movie is supposed to come out. I mean, you're aiming for I mean, it's R rated, but you're aiming for the Joker's record. You're aiming for a billion dollars. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. And there's at least a chance if you can nail it that that this is a repeat business R rated movie. Yeah. Um, this is going to be very interesting. But, uh, you know, I, I think. Ryan did a lot of jabbing, a lot of uh, talking to Hugh to get this, to, 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 to do this. And I think the, the ultimate decision was, you know, you get to do it your way, whatever you want to do, sort of situation. I think you sit with that for a little bit 
and you're going to get a ton of money and you're going to be back in the, you know, you're going to be traveling. You, you're going to be, you're going to be in the MCU, which I'm pretty sure is something that he's, you know, always thought about. And now he's here. So, but uh, yeah, let's not go crazy and talk about sequels and, and have, no. that's, that's, that's my only I concern. honestly don't think, I honestly don't think he would have come back if it was part one of six. I don't. He doesn't. I mean, like I say he's fifty-three years old. You know, he he spent twenty years in this character. Basically, he he's good. This is this is like a like a passion project for a friend. And I think, yeah, and I think there is a recognition that if there is a hole in the resume, it is that we don't have the classic wol- raging Wolverine in his vintage costume going nuts with no restrictions and i i have faith we're gonna get that but like how well it is it's done and how much we wind up loving it we'll see but i do think we'll get it yeah let us know in the comment section below what you got i'm pretty sure you guys are hyped for this i mean i'm pretty sure and i wasn't surprised by the possibility of hugh jackman coming back being that ryan reynolds is, pro- is probably harassing him every day of hugh jackman's life since he gave it up um but this is going to be very interesting um and there's a lot to look forward to to this for for this movie this is a movie that's really hype what's up i have a quick question yeah for you. why do you why do you think this did not happen at d23 ryan reynolds apologized for not being at d23 in the video in which this was announced why do you think they didn't have this as part of the d23 lineup because it would have been a massive been huge show stealer, and they needed that my only the only reason why I would think that they wouldn't be able to announce this is that Hugh Jackman wasn't on board yet. In sign, it must have been a contract thing, right? He wasn't. He wasn't with it. That's the only thing that makes sense. Because why not announce something like that? Certainly not coming. That so would have been soon crazy. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Yeah. Interesting. That's the only part of this that felt weird. I was like, you had a forum where there were all sorts of people there that you could have just. They would have lost their minds if he had bu- they had walked on stage together, or they had done some gag, you know, some humorous gag like they did in, in the video. But that was the only thing that got me sort of like, what what really what really happened here? Like, was there a, like, you know, we had to double Hughes pay to like get him to say yes, and that that was still getting approved by Bob Chapek at the time of D twenty three or something? But I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that it, it's gonna be very interesting to see what's up with this movie, man. Oh.